Good morning, this is Deb of Phenomenal Flowers. Today I'm going to show you the assembly line approach that I use to get a few items done for fall festivals coming up. I decided to use a black, ivory, and gold theme for these products. Even though they're not all the same, it will look very good when they're displayed together. I purchased the mugs from Ross and most of the other items I purchased wholesale. You'll see there's um, tall ones with incense and short ones with candles. First of all, I put um, snowflakes in every last one for a little bit of continuity. And to wrap them up, I either use a 24 by 12 sheet, which you can see here. And spoiler alert. Sometimes when I do small, I don't wrap the bottom because if you sit something in the middle and then all of a sudden you decide to gather the ends, it makes it really bulky. So I turn the 12 by 24 sheet to the side and then begin to tape it near the bottom so the item doesn't fall out. So you see me do it several times because I don't want the item to fall out making sure everything's in place and I wanted to cover up the name brand of the candle just to make it look a little bit more polished. So for the bow, I used a very simple bow. I just tied the loop once on a 12 inch string and then again on the other 12 inch string I just tied a loop bow. You see as I progress I sometimes change the method on the bow and I cut off some of the topping because it was really really tall. And uh, on the next one, I'm going to do the same thing. You'll see me put the star over the brand. And this time, I'm going to use a floral bag. I also do flowers, and the floral bags are smaller at the bottom and bigger at the top. I really love using them to put things in because there's not a lot of extra at the bottom. So then you see me gather it up and it's almost like shrink. It's very, very smooth. But uh, this time you'll see I only took the bow and crisscrossed it, didn't tie it twice, and then cut off the edges. It was much faster. Excuse me, I have a morning voice and it's like 9.30, so I guess it's still morning. Uh, then I lay it flat and use a piece of packing tape to tape it down and it didn't take long at all. Next, I'm gonna do the tall ones. The item on the front is a biodegradable towel. It says, Happy Holidays. So for this, the first one, I'm gonna use the same floral tube that I use for the short items, but, um, I really didn't like it, but I was like, well, you don't want to spend too much time on this because sometimes I do. You know, if you're a creative person, you think about this will work, that'll work, this will work, that'll work. This will fit better, that'll fit better, but then you get into your profit margin because you're spending all this time being creative. So I did a simple knot again, did a crisscross on some extra ribbon and tied it into a bow. And you'll see me lay it flat. Because once I lay it flat, then you'll see the opening where the flowers would stick out. I just used a wide piece of tape, looks like a couple of pieces of tape. And then I set that one to the side. I'm thinking I'm not happy with this, I'm not happy with this, I'm not happy with this. So on the next one, I used two of the 12 by 24 sheets taped together to make it go all the way around. You see how wide that is? It's only 12 inches, but you know, cups are small. So I do a double knot again, and then on the sides, I take it and I fold it neatly and tape it to the back. Again, I'll say I don't like a lot of excess, so I took the scissors off, scissors, and I used it to actually make sure there wasn't a lot of cellophane left over. And here you have it. They're all set and ready to go. And I really love them that they're not exactly Christmas because you can use your mug all year round. And 
and the towels you'll use for holidays, but everything's very nicely wrapped. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Remember all those things to do to help my channel grow. See you on the next video. Bye.